So, um, I have a new DRO here, which I probably should test out a bit before I get too comfortable with it. It's got a few special features. Um, one of them is being able to connect a stepper motor or a servo motor to control the rotary axis, which is down here. So I think first off, we might try and cut some gears with it. So we'll set the numbers of divisions to 28. We'll go to position one. Yes, there's not much more to do than just to give it a go and see how things are. the gear ready. Might as well take it off and have a look at it now. Looks pretty decent. So that took just over about 45 minutes. So quite a lengthy process for such a small gear. But there's probably a better way we could do it. So the next one I think we'll try gear hopping. One thing we need for um, gear hopping is to synchronize the dividing head to the spindle. That's usually a bit complicated but with the help of the DRO we can um, synchronize with a gear ratio, in this case we'll go to 28 to 1, as it's a 28 to gear. Uh, so I guess we'll just give it a go and see what happens.
So that's that gear done. Um, all in all, it took about half the time um, it did with a regular cutter. So, not too bad about that. Another benefit to having a gear hub is that you don't need to change cutter between different uh, um, tooth counts. All in all, looks like a pretty nice gear. Should be identical to the one we cut before. You can see a slight difference in thickness at the top of the gear tooth. But I guess they fit together pretty nicely. So let's set up for one a bit bigger. Changing the gear ratio to 1 is to 69, with the 69 tooth gear. So that was a bit of a learning curve. So I suspect that uh, I don't have a slow enough feed to go around to allow the cutter to go around one full revolution before it feeds in. So I started feeding in manually and I tried climbing. It's much better, but it's not very consistent. But the gear looks like it turned out pretty nice. Yeah, that turned out pretty good, I think. 